Hey guys, this is following up on my previous video about the research of Elaine Howard Eklund. There's a link to the video on the screen. Now I'm sure you've heard atheists mention the 1998 survey of members of the National Academy of Sciences that found 93% of respondents identified as having no religion. This is a very important talking point for atheists, and they use this survey to infer that studying science causes atheism. Of course, that's a logically invalid inference, and if you even try to ask them what it is these scientists learn that causes them to be atheists, the atheists who cite the study get very cagey because they know they'll incur a burden of proof they can't possibly sustain. The research of Elaine Howard Eklund has, at every turn, undermined the narrative of science leading to atheism. A study she conducted late last year, the first worldwide survey of the religious views of scientists, found that the religious attitudes of scientists vary drastically across cultures. I quote, More than half of scientists in India, Italy, Taiwan, and Turkey self-identify as religious, Eklund said, and it's striking that approximately twice as many convinced atheists exist in the general population of Hong Kong, for example, 55%, compared with the scientific community in this region, 26%. The researchers did find that scientists are generally less religious than the given general population. However, there are exceptions to this. 39% of scientists in Hong Kong identify as religious, compared with 20% of the general population of Hong Kong, and 54% of scientists in Taiwan identify as religious, compared with 44% of the general population of Taiwan. Eklund noted that such patterns challenge long-standing assumptions about the irreligious character of scientists around the world. So here we see that, in several countries, scientists are actually more religious than the general population. This, in addition to the fact that many of Western civilization's greatest scientific minds were devoutly religious themselves. Not only is inferring causation from correlational logical fallacy, the correlation between the practice of science and irreligion isn't even reliable. Again and again, the atheist's favorite narrative crumbles under critical scrutiny.